131, let's take a look at example six. We're gonna try and use properties of logarithms and we're not gonna use a calculator. So I, I won't use my calculator to solve this. And as I mentioned in the previous examples, if I wanna start simplifying logarithms, meaning I have multiple logarithmic expressions and I wanna collapse them into one log, the first thing I'm gonna do is move the powers up. So I should say I should move the coefficients up to the exponents. There is no coefficient in front of this term, or really it's a one, so I can't do anything there. But this will ultimately become log base nine of three squared minus log base nine of three to the fourth plus log base nine, ooh, I'm almost running out of room, one over 729. Okay, so there's a couple of things you can do with this term. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Here, I wanna actually play these numbers out. So this is log base nine of nine minus log base nine. All right, three to the fourth is 81. And this is log base nine of one over 729. So there's a couple of things you can do just depending on how you see this. So I, I wanna give you some options. I'm gonna show you a couple of ways to handle this. Here is one version, okay? I'm gonna do it one way and then I'm gonna erase my work and I'll show you a different way. Maybe you're saying, well, say I see a quotient, so I could do the quotient rule. I can make this log base nine of one minus log base nine of 729. And that is totally correct. That, that's legit, you can do that. So let's go through and talk about what's happening here. All right, logarithms are exponents. So what's the exponent you need on nine to get to nine? One. What's the exponent you need on nine to get to 81? Two. What's the exponent you need on nine to get to one? Zero. What's the exponent you need on nine to get to 729? Now that one might not be on the tip of your tongue or the tip of your brain, but let me show you just so we're all on the same page here. Oops, let me clear this out. If we did nine cubed, that sure enough does get you to 729. All right, so this becomes minus three. So one minus two is negative one, negative one plus zero is negative one, negative one minus three is negative four. All right, so that is one way to go and attack this problem. And I said there were a couple of ways to do this, so let me show you a different version. So if you didn't see this as a quotient, and you didn't say, well, this is log one minus log 729, that's no problem. Let me erase that part of it and show you an alternate version. Maybe you said, well, I have a fraction here, and I know that deals with negative exponents, so I know this is log base seven, excuse me, log base nine of 729 to the negative one. Maybe you just saw that as the reciprocal of 729, and you said, well, now I'll we'll use the power rule and bring this down in front, so this would then become minus log base nine of 729. This is gonna take me one extra step. So then this would become, excuse me, all right, one minus two, and then we know log base nine of 729 is three. One minus two is negative one, and negative one minus three is negative four. So however you see it, whether you see it as using the quotient property or whether you see it as turning it into a power with that negative exponent and bringing the exponent down in front, either way you get to negative four. All right, so with that, we're gonna move on to example seven and I will see you in a bit, bye.